In this video we're going to see how easy it is to download your products from Shopify into Brightpearl, list them on eBay and then manage your inventory levels automatically across all of your sales channels. So we're going to go through a few steps. We're going to download your products from Shopify into Brightpearl and then add cost prices, check the images and add inventory levels. Then we're going to list it on eBay, sell it on eBay which will demonstrate the automatic synchronization of inventory levels across both systems. So here's my Shopify store where I've got four products. The first thing we're going to do is download these into Brightpearl, which we can do from the e-commerce connectors dashboard. So go to action and import products, scroll down to the bottom and tick to download all products. These products are now downloading into Brightpearl and we can go across and search for them. And here we've got a couple of kayaks that have been downloaded from Shopify. We've got the Neki Manitou and the Neki Vector, and both of them are available in two colours. Notice that there's no inventory levels, however, and that's because we don't add inventory into Brightpearl until we know the cost price of the goods, and Shopify doesn't store a cost price. So let's actually add cost prices now, and then add the inventory. This is most easily done with edit variants. We can then choose which prices to edit, and let's choose the cost price, and put 300 in here and apply to both products. We've now got a cost price, so we can add inventory. We'll go products, add inventory, search for the product, and then choose to add items. And let's say we've got five of the sunrise color in location, zero. The next thing we need to do is make sure that there's a price on the eBay price list. And I can see which is my eBay price list by going to my eBay channel and then going to settings. Scrolling down I can see that my retail price list is the one that's going to be used to push products to eBay. That's the same price list as my Shopify channel so there's nothing else I need to do. It'll use the same price across both channels. Next we need to go and make sure that the products have got a description and an image. So let's open these up and we're going to copy the description from our Shopify store. And you actually might want to make this different from Shopify. Next we'll add images and we do this by URL. So we'll go back to Shopify and we'll get the image for the sunrise, copy the image location Go back to Bright Pearl, import images from URL, and paste the URL in there, and then import images. So we've now got the sunrise image on the sunrise product. Let's go back and do the same thing for the blue product, which is the ocean kayak. Copy the image location, and paste it in here. And finally, we'll add the description for the blue item too. We've got five in stock of the sunrise and none in stock of the ocean. So let's add two of the ocean into stock. Now all we need to do is select these products Click Add or Remove from Channels and select Add to eBay Channel. We'll choose our eBay account, we'll choose a listing profile, and I created one earlier called Kayaks, and a shipping profile for heavy goods, and then continue. This is a draft listing which we can click to open and make any changes before we finally publish it to eBay. In the Variations tab we can see that we've got the two different colours, the sunrise and the ocean. And in the Images tab, we've got the two different colours here. So let's choose to show both of these on our listing and save draft. Finally, we publish to eBay. Going back to our eBay listing screen, we can see that we've now got the Neki Vector Kayak with an eBay listing ID. And here it is on the eBay site with the two different images and the two different colours. 
For the ocean, I have two available. And for the sunrise, I have five available, which is exactly what matches our Bright Pearl system. And when I buy one here, it'll go down to four available, which will update Shopify automatically. So let's buy a sunrise one now and commit to buy. After a few minutes, the sale is downloaded from eBay into Bright Pearl, and we can see it at the top of the list here. The little green tick indicates that all inventory has been allocated to this sale. So let's drop in and have a look. We've got a Neki Sunrise added to this order, of which one has been allocated. We've got five in stock, which leaves four on hand. It's the on hand level we synchronise to sales channels. So let's go across to our Shopify store, check Manage Inventory, and search for the Neki. Well, we've now got four of the Sunrise. So Brightpell has updated Shopify as soon as the eBay sale has arrived. Now all we need to do is fulfill the sale and invoice it. It works in a very similar way if we buy something from Shopify. The inventory is allocated automatically to the sale, which means that eBay inventory levels are also updated within a few seconds. So that's a quick whistle-stop tour of how to download products from Shopify into Brightpearl, list them on eBay, sell them on eBay, and then see Shopify inventory updated automatically.